location I've been coming to since I was a kid. I just love to come up here and look at the view, but the winds are pretty good this time, and uh, I'm gonna set up the paraglider and uh, launch off of it, and I uh, hope it goes well. I'm pretty excited about this one because it's just something I've, you know, come to visit my whole childhood, so this should be fun. Okie dokie. There we go. Kind of <laughs> got a little wind. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, buddy. Heck yeah. Oh man, I've wanted to do this for so long. Wow. Yes. Oh my gosh. It's like a no wind day though, so I'm not gonna be able to hang out here long. At least I don't think so. What's up house? Ain't no lift over here. It's downhill from here. All right, let's go. Go find our spot. I climbed up that rock one time when I was really young and I, it was covered in ice. That's the first time I located this spot. What? Dude, I know I'm not getting any lift or anything, but uh, this is so worth it. They can't hear me. Coming into my LZ, kind of making it up as I go. I think I'm gonna land in this baseball type field thing. I get turned around for a landing. Sweet. Actually, this one looks nice to the left. But uh, there's also a ditch, so don't know if I'll make it over that. I'm not really used to the edge anymore. And all right, let's get turned around. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't go in the water, I see it. <laughs> Perfect. Dude, that was epic. I've been wanting to do that my whole freaking life from that spot. That is incredible. Are you kidding me? I just came from all the way over there, up on top. Yes. The best part about paragliding in your hometown is your parents roll up. Take you back to the top. I'm loving this. See ya. See you, man. Wow. That's crazy. Nice. See ya. Yeehaw. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Steady. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Here we go. Yeah. 
Whoa! Yes. This is the spot. <laughs> oh wow, the lift right here is insane. Oh, wow. I can see my parents' car now right over there. Dude. Let's see if we come left a little bit. Oh, I grew up swimming at that lake back there too. A whole bunch of memories going on right now. This is a good spot in front of this house, really. Pretty amazing spot, actually. I think the winds are coming more from the northwest, and from the ramp where I took off, it was uh, it's more of a north takeoff, and this, this mountain face is more northwest, so it's a little better. Dude, I could get used to this. It's not a windy day at all, but it's pretty impressive with how much wind, how much you can actually do. I'm finding out. Well, that was a fun time. Looking for a flag or some kind of indication on the winds. Based off this uh, lake here, I should be heading the right direction. More of a pond than anything, I guess. So who would have known that the first time I landed in some random field, it was going to be Andy Petrie's land. <laughs> it's exactly what this is. And then I landed here, and they said I could uh, use this as an LZ. So that's much much appreciated. Let's see if I can get away from this water again. Oh, that feels great on my testicles. Sweet! Oh my god, dude. I'm like jittery in excitement. I told my parents that they'll only have to take me up there one more time, but I, th I don't know, we might have to get back up there. Oh, I did not have the harness adjusted very well when I took off. Here it is, yes. All right, the lift is at their porch. Oh, there, uh, 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 ooh. there's a little something, something right here. I don't think I'll be able to make it back to the top. You never know though. Ooh, the Red Roof Inn is where it's at right now. Let's stick around here for a second. Oh, Red Roof Inn. Don't disappoint me. That didn't look good. I made my way back towards the ramp. Found some, ni some nice houses on the way too. Getting some uh, lift on the west side of the mountain now. Wow, that's a nice house. Oh yeah, this is Lift City over here. I don't know if you guys can tell how much progress I've made, but the Red Roof Inn is down there. <laughs> Way down there. I went over here, and uh, it was just Lift City, man. I It's like a whole like unfound land on the west side of the uh, of the ramp. Right here is Sink City. I'm gonna go back over there. Whew, coming down. Dude, it is a beautiful day out here. Back to searching for that lift. Coming towards the red roof in, coming in hot. I lost it all when I was trying to adjust my harness. No, nothing for me, red roof. All right, let's we'll see how it is. Let's see what kind of reviews I give you. Dude, most epic way to explore a mountain. Right here. I guess I need to start making my way back towards the LZ. Shoot, I might try this little ridge for a while. I remember one time when I was younger, this place, uh, this mountain caught on fire, and I came up here with a friend. And uh, we, uh, 
we wanted to just check out the fire, so we went and hung out at this. We parked at this uh, guy's house, and he's like, "Yeah, you can call me Redneck." And he just let us hang out and check out the fire. They're uh, picking up water out of one of these ponds out here with a helicopter. Ooh, there's some left. And uh, and we were just watching that. It was pretty cool. What a day with the old edge. This guy only comes out for a special occasion. Kiting practice and uh, apparently paragliding. I got to work out some kinks in this harness because uh, I have a feeling this is going to be an uncomfortable landing. Looking at the ripples. Looks like the wind is still the same spot. This should line me up pretty good. Sweet. Another good round, three rounds today. I am super satisfied with that. Shoot, I'd do it again, but I think my parents are more exhausted than me. <laughs> so before I wind down from all that paragliding, I want to tell you what just happened there. I've been wanting to fly off of that mountain since I was super young. Uh, we discovered it by biking out there and leaving our bicycles in the woods and then just hiking up that mountain. And that's how we discovered the hang gliding ramp. And also one time I bought a car from Habitat for Humanity for like 500 bucks and I stole my parents' license plate when they were out of town and put it on that car. It was an Isuzu Trooper and me and my friends drove it to the hang gliding ramp and I still have a picture of when we were, um, we were sitting on top of the truck or the Isuzu Trooper. And uh, so that mountain and I have some history. So being able to fly off of it today was, was pretty amazing seeing it from above you know having that different vantage point was pretty cool but i'm going to be doing a lot of paragliding this summer um, so i hope you guys enjoy this type of thing because you'll be seeing more of it so thanks for watching see ya